Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So this is Pramod and this is another Comsha Network Plus practice test simulations or you can call performance based questions. So this is part 5 and this part is also very helpful to pass the Network Plus exam. So this part is related to the troubleshoot the network components. So let's go to the simulation. So this is the simulation. A network technician needs to resolve some issues with the customer's small office network. The customer reports that some of the devices are not connecting to the network while others appear to work as intended. So let's check the instructions for the simulation. So troubleshoot all the network components and view the cable test results by checking on each device and cable. Diagnose the appropriate components by identifying any components with the problem and recommend a solution to correct each problem. If at any time you would like to bring back the initial state of the simulation, please click the reset all button. So let's check the default diagram for this simulation. So as you can see on the screen, this is the default diagram for the simulation. So this is the PC1, PC2, this is the admin staff, and this is the PC4, this is a marketing computer, this is a PC6, PC5, and PC3 is HR department computers. This is a switch one, this is a switch two, this is a printer, these are the VLANs, and this is a server one, and this is a cable test results. So PC1 is connected to the switch one, PC2 is connected to the switch two, PC3 is connected to switch two, PC5 is connected to switch one, PC4 is connected to the switch one and the switch 1 and switch 2 is connected to the server 1 also the printer is connected to the switch 2 and on screen in right hand side as you can see this is the remediation window so you have to select correct remediations drop down menu according to the simulations according to the problems and according to the solution so let's check the solutions for these simulations and the explanation for the simulation so this is the explanations for the simulation so IPs will be changed on each simulation task. So I have given example answer for each understanding to troubleshoot all the network components and view the cable test results. You can use the following steps. So first one is a click on each device as clearly as we can see on the picture and cable to open its information window. So review the information and identify any problems or errors that may affect the network connectivity or performance. Diagnose the appropriate components by identifying any components with a problem and recommend a solution to correct each problem. Fill in the remediation form using the drop down menus provided as you can see on the picture on the simulation. So here is an example to how to fill the remediation form for PC1. So PC1 the component with the problem with PC1 the problem is incorrect IP address. You have to select in the remediation form as an incorrect IP address and the solution is change the IP address. So the change the IP address is 192.168.1.0. You can use the same steps to fill in the remediation from the other components like PC2, PC3, PC4. So let's check the next steps. So next steps for the simulation is to enter commands in each device. You can use the following steps. Click on the each device to open its terminal window. And in terminal window, enter the command ipconfig slash all. So this command is used for to display the IP configuration of the device including its IP address, subnet marks, default gateway and DNS servers. Then enter the command ping and the IP address to test the connectivity and reachability to another device on the network by sending and receive echo packets. Then replace the IP address with the IP address of the destination device such as 192.168.1.1 for core switch 1. Then enter the command trace RT, then IP address to trace the route and measure the latency of packets from the device to another device on the network by sending and receiving packets with increasing TTL values. Then replace the IP address with the IP address of destination device such as 192.168.1.1 for core switch 1. So here is an example of how to enter commands in PC1. So clicks on PC1 to open its terminal window. In the terminal window, enter the command ipconfig slash all to, di to display the IP configuration of PC1 like IP address, subnet point gateways. You should see the PC1 has an incorrect IP address of 192.168.2.0. 
2.10 so which belongs to vlan 2 instead of vlan 1 so enter the command ping 192.168.1.1 to test the connectivity to port switch 1 you should see that pc1 is unable to ping port switch 1 because they are on different subnets then enter the trace rt command ip address 192.168.1.1 to trace the route to port switch 1 you should see that PC1 is unable to reach port switch 1 because there is no route between them. So you can use the same steps to enter the commands in the other devices such as PC2, PC3, PC4, PC5 and server 1. So this simulation has been completed. So I hope you are enjoying this video. So you have completed this model. Study hard. Good luck and thanks for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. I will upload next part shortly. Thanks for watching. Thank you.